This green book, uh, and it does have, of course, white letters on it, this is the official Nimitz Braille Code for the Mathematics and Science Notation. And this is what I would call the Bible or the code. Now, it, it, the book, the official book is going to be green. In this particular case, it is in binder form. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of you may have an older version of this that is hard bound. Don't panic. You're looking for the green book. Uh, this one, again, has some white on it, but most of the older versions are completely green. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and open it up for you to see a little better. But again, this is the official Braille code. This is the print version uh, available from the American Printing House for the Blind. And if you go ahead and look inside, you have got tons and tons of examples and explanations, everything there is that you'd ever want to know about the code, and appendices, and way in the back you have your general index. Now I'm going to tell you the problem though with this particular book is the index. If you look in here and I'm not sure if we can, let's see if we can find it. If, if you go to look for exponent, let me see, I'm looking and I'm looking right up here. And if, there, if exponent were there, it should be the, between uh, exercises and expressions and there's nothing there. So the first time I looked at that, I went, Why am I, I want to work with exponents. What you have to look for is superscripts. So if you look way over here, let me see if I can find it quickly. Uh, we have something about superscripts right here. And it talks about alignment and spatial arrangement and, uh, and, and uh, denoting a footnote, plurals, and then it continues on the next page. But it does not call these exponents. It calls them superscripts. So, and then it goes into more detail. This is starting to sound a little more mathematical. Superscripts and subscripts. Uh, and, and goes into all the different ways that you might uh, find those. But what I'm trying to get at is the terminology in this book can be difficult for the novice, for sure, and even the person who's more experienced. So uh, most of the time when you look at a seasoned transcriber, all along, he, along the edges, you're going to find where they've made little uh, tags and notations so they can find things a little more quickly. But if you need, uh, especially if you need the higher level mathematics, you're going to need to use the green book because it is the official code. Okay, so keep that in mind. And again, it's available from the American Printing House for the Blind on federal quota money, both in print and braille. I'm, I can't remember now whether, I, I don't believe that the um, Braille volumes have a green cover, but they could. Uh, all I can remember is that they were five, it's five volumes in Braille. So just to let you know that. But again, available on federal quota money. So that is the first book I want to show you.